Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Place. Slay the Spire. We suck as the Ironclad, but doing okay is the Silent and the Defect. Easy choice. Random rare. My opinion, easy choice. After Image. We'd like to build a Shiv deck. After Image, I think, is good enough to build around. You can't dodge an Elite. So we want... This is a pretty okay path. E Although this is a pretty okay path. You can pivot there too. Yeah, let's start here. I like this path. Early after image, easy play. 14 damage. Until we get 4 energy, playing after image likely means not really getting too far ahead on damage. What we call that in the business is a fair trade. So early on... We want to add cards like, oh, we could have gotten away with playing one because of after image. But we want to uh, play cards like Blade Dance. An upgraded Blade Dance is 12 damage, 3 block. And if we ever get like Shuriken, it, it obviously gets even better. So that's a big one. I know how to build this kind of deck. Okay, this is tough because Well Laid Plans is also amazing. But I think Blade Dance is more valuable early. Because it hit after image, life's good. And you know what? We spent a little gold. Sounds good to me. Take my gold, whatever. Depending on how this fight goes, that will uh, define how we choose to proceed from this point. I would rather fight the elite early. We also want as many zero cost cards as possible, if they're good. Because a zero cost card is also a block. Yeah, you can see. Like, we got things tilted in our favor pretty early here. Even, you know, I think Predator is fine. Um, I'm willing to take Predator. Doesn't explicitly fit the theme. So what? And I'll tell you, we're cracking you. Turn one, we're cracking you. We got our best damage dealer. No Blade Dance, huh? We know we're going to draw Blade Dance if we use this. Dump two of these. You're also going to get a defend. So you know you're going to play Blade Dance. I'm going to hit you. I hate taking four, even, but... can't. You can't really bank on drawing Neutralize on the next turn. We got to punch through you a little faster. We only have to get you to 20 HP. And then we can use our uh, Fire Potion. But even that's going to be a bit of a challenge. Stand by it. Take another 14 damage. Get you for 8. 5. No, we block heavy this turn. Take no damage. Incredible. Let me get two turns to work with to take 20 HP off. Easy enough. I hate to say it. We might not even have to... Seven. It's probably five. I think we still have to. But worth it, I think. Bag of marbles, sure. We don't discard much. I think we can skip the reward on cards. We got a long path in front of us. So I actually am going to rest. And I normally would not advise this. Boss is slime, so I feel way less bad about it. <laughs> I hate that guy. Um, but we got enough... Like, we feel safe early on. You know what I like about a... Uh, about an after-image ship deck? Is that we can just build much in the same way that we built our other decks. We can build block-heavy. Footwork is nice if we can get it. Um... Probably take none here still. Caltrops is, is still great. And we're going heavy upgrades here. So, one extra block, much extra damage. 
max HP is through the roof. That's not that useful, I think. But I'm not going to feel too bad about it. 90 HP is hilarious, though. There's no denying that. But look at this. Like, these fights, I don't want to say they're a non-issue, but we're ahead of the curve on them, which doesn't happen all that often. Um, I think you'd probably go with a dodge and roll, which is 5 block and then 4 block, likely to become 7 block. I will hit that neutralize first, though. I think the extra turn of weakness is worth it. Right, it costs a little more than I thought it did. That's okay. We're like our HP is so much higher than we would ever have expected it to be at this point. Which is why I also feel comfortable taking one more damage, just one piddly bit of damage. What do we care? Wow, we did this very wrongly. Still worked, but was inefficient. Okay, what do we like? Still nothing, honestly. So, we do struggle doing a lot of damage. And that alone has me thinking that Predator plus good use of the vulnerability potion is going to be what, what allows us to get out of this. So we don't have a lot of killing power. Seventy-eight. It's perfect. Now draw Predator again. Didn't work. Are we gonna split him? Look. We could choose not to. But I think we've got the damage to do it. Especially knowing we're gonna draw Predator next turn and we could split another one real quick. Anyway, sorry, I didn't know we were gonna draw Predator. It seemed likely we would draw Predator. The faster we can get this large spike slime down to zero, the happier we're going to be. We're doing, like, no damage this turn. So, you know, let's just take some of your HP away. 15. That's fine. Dump a slime, obviously. Lots of frailty. No damage, though. Oh, lots of damage this turn. Um... You know the deal. You gotta get out in front of him. Get one killed as soon as possible. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, you're alive. Make the most of it. Dude, don't need to, hell it, uh, to tell him twice, apparently. Two enemies with 14 HP. We will survive. This is a... Remarkable contrast to the last run, where life was exclusively pain. So what do we do? Shiv-related cards. Accuracy? Worth taking. A second after image? You have to think about that. And Venom is a good fit. We have a lot of zero-cost cards if we go for Shivs, and we can upgrade this to cost one. I think that's our play. And out of these, I think they're actually all relatively viable, but... Making every shiv do three more damage is pretty good. There is a remarkably safe path that I love the idea of. Very, very strong first turn. 12 damage. Gotta be honest. Want to play Predator. Don't think we got the right opportunity to do so. 12. Not going to play our other defend. We're going to avoid as many dazes as possible. Hate it, but sure. Go ahead. Hit me for 6. Thank God for neutralize. 
We're like just barely staying ahead of the the dazes and the damage and the silver spoon. It's not so bad. We will absolutely every blade dance. At this point it could be 21 damage, 3 block, and 3 extra poison. We need to get it upgraded, of course. Works very well against these guys. So here's the thing. You know, I don't really care about 6 damage, but we don't have to worry about it to begin with. Sorry, how did you know? You have to get hit 4 times now? Ascension 17! You dirty dog. Well, I can't hit you 4 times. It just, I, I literally... I don't have four attacks, much less the energy. So I guess I'm gonna just kill you, like... This is terrible. We can hit you with four attacks, but I think I'd rather hit you with four attacks, because you're trying to get stronger. I want it to be clear. I don't like it. I want this guy to die too. But I saw a chance to knock a strong one out. Ah! Okay. <laughs> you know what? Go ahead, my friend. Go ahead. I don't have four attacks. This is the most dastardly interpretation of this fight. Please stop attacking. We gotcha. We're gonna have to rest. So what would also fit in this deck? Well, a thousand cuts. But we definitely, we, we need some upgrades as well. Accuracy is easy. I, I can't believe, in my head I was like, what should we take? Tough choice. I want everything. But I'm gonna take... Lee's Waffle to get us out of a jam. And I'm going to take Caltrops. Would have destroyed those birds. We could take Backstab. But I think Caltrops is just better. Even though Backstab would do three more damage. Womp womp. No, I'm not willing to lose the HP. Give me a curse. Two damage is easy enough to get around. Honestly, is going to sound like cowardice. I'll pay 14 gold to not have to fight these guys it basically guarantees me an upgrade here. So the easy upgrade is in Venom, which I think is worth a little bit more than accuracy. But we will try to get that accuracy ASAP as well. So Caltrops is really good here. But I don't think it's as good as not taking damage. <laughs> I hate using the potion, but... Whatever. So what we're looking for, obviously, is going to be very hard to find. Because of the way that we're playing the game so conservatively. But we're really looking for... Um... Oh, this is so good. Should have done that. In... Well, that might be fine, actually. But what we're looking for is Shuriken. Yuck. Um, I would say... Something along these lines. But this, this turn's pretty bad. We're taking 14 damage. Still 78 HP, though. Ay, 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 ay. Corpse Explosion is such incredible crowd control. No, 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 no. No, mm, yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> You're like, what are you doing right now? Well, it's tough, okay? We did this last time and it worked out okay. Um, we basically go down to 60, probably 68 HP. Um, which is fine. And we'll get regen ability. And it replaces all of our strikes. And we're going to fight the elite, by the way.
And that's because I... Basically, if we get Shuriken, we win. So I'm willing to take a stab at it. So this is why we took Corpse Explosion. I actually think you don't even play after image. I think you just play attacks to kill this guy ASAP. When he dies, the whole tower comes crumbling. So, 18 damage. We're really looking for Predator, which we did not get. We can just hit you, heal a little, probably uh, defends. Everything's still okay. I beg you. We're not in a horrible spot, I think. But spare me. Oh, you play the bite, you fool. Question card. Not really what we're looking for. Slice, by the way, sure. I mean, I see the value. 46 HP is probably where I'd feel comfortable fighting the boss, even though it's a little dangerous. Bruh. You're not going to let me get that well-laid plans for one gold? Hmm. <laughs> we probably should have removed the K, huh? Um, Corpse Explosion is actually pretty okay. We'll use it on one of the little minions if we get the chance. What I'm going to say about this is that an upgrade is not worth that much, so heal me instead. None of these cards get grossly better, in my opinion, from an upgrade. At least not in a way that's relevant immediately. They're both gonna take... We might as well whittle the one with one more HP, if all other things are considered equal here. That way... We get the card back faster, and the Corpse Explosion will definitely kill the other orb. Makes sense to me. This is not good, because we can't play in Venom, but at least we get it back. And obviously, Corpse Explosion now falls by the wayside, but we saw a chance to kill an enemy, so... I stand by it. Probably gonna bite, bite. We're basically thinking, Corpse Explosion's coming around. I'd like to do 50 damage to the boss if possible. I think we are going to die here on this fight, not like right now. But to do 50 damage to him for free is going to help out a lot. I can't really neutralize you. Nah, even like in Venom. Well, you know what? Actually, okay, in Venom, bite. Nah, it doesn't work. Go ahead and die, I guess. And we will live with 4 HP. But hey, we got bites. All we gotta do is play about 100 of those. Alright, poison's coming around, boys. Um, I, I think you play Predator, even though you obviously want some life back. And I think we're, we're extremely dead here. Um... You know, we're only 18 minutes in. That's fine. Let's do another one. That deck was good. I think we could have made it. Maybe didn't get quite enough gas. And F the birds forever. Same difference here. I, like, choose a rare for 6 HP. Sign me up. I'm going to say that die, die, die. Normally we go adrenaline. And we, we did on the last run... Oh, such a good path. We did on the last run feel somewhat energy starved. So adrenaline feels even better in that case. But Die Die Die, I really think on Ascension, what historically annoys the Christ out of me the most. It doesn't really matter if we play these. Um, it's easy to answer that question, I should say. It's the like minion fights where there's four minions and they're all super strong, and they hate me, and I hate them equally. Sorry, I'm really far away from my microphone. I was leaning back, playing a little casual. Um, 
I'm gonna go for Sucker Punch, and the idea there is we can, we, with two forms of weakness, once they get upgraded, we can apply them, and the fact that it's the Hexaghost is just the icing on the cake. Alright. I, I wouldn't say I feel confident about this early, but I do think Die 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 first floor is a is a strong get. Very easy so far. I can't really I don't, I don't like agony. Distraction I think is really good. I don't want to do that. You do gain gold, but you're going to spend some time not being happy about it. I'm going to... It's a little risky. That being said, I don't know. Is Do we get more gold out of Golden Idol than we get out of uh, the 150 gold get? I certainly hope so. Oh my god, we got the ability to remove a curse right away. Who's the loser now, Mom? We also got the poop. So distraction is our first very good upgrade. It's basically a free skill potion per fight, and I think that that's highly great. Strong first turn. Some enemies hard counter it, but not enough to be seriously concerned. So, so far I like this deck. It lacks a little boss kill ability. Like, all we're relying on for the boss is basically... Weakening him forever. But what are we going to hit him with? Well, I haven't gotten that far. <laughs> We're going to go with a flying knee. Basically, thin deck, flying knee. We'll keep that whipping around. We'll get extra energy on a lot of turns. Um, well, right off the bat, let's get two damage. Two, uh, one extra weak. We want to get both of those going. Ma Bank is fine. Oh, a free leg sweep. What did I do to deserve this? It's a good thing, is what I mean. Um, I could split you. That won't split you. We're going to draw more damage next turn. I'll buy a whole heck of a lot, but two enemies with 22 HP. 866. Six. I think we're just flying the weaken. Even with frailty, we're still holding fairly strong here. Dude, it's kind of working. But this deck, it I've, I've learned, and I, I continue to learn a lot in Slay the Spire. I know it's like a lion doubt it. Why do you still make mistakes then? Well, fair enough. We've been having good runs, but I can already feel in this deck, it lacks... And I'll take an adrenaline for a regular reward any day of the week. It lacks... You're going to think I'm crazy for this. I don't think the energy matters that much yet. If we get some higher cost cards, that'll change. This is a, a bit dangerous. At least if we get a curse, we can remove it right away at the shop. You know what? <laughs> Fair enough. Although, it'll cost us Ma Bank. So what's the curse? Decay? I'm willing to remove it. We we don't have to. I, but for real... Dude, how are we going to kill this boss? We might be able to do it on, on raw power alone. But I'm going to take a Bouncing Flask. And I know that seems like a bad buy... I really, genuinely, in my heart of hearts, believe we need the cumulative damage to kill him. I will stand by this decision. I feel it in my gut. Right off the bat, and the, the great thing about Bouncing Flask, excuse me, is that it's not cycling. Or, sorry, it's not exhausting. So it's whipping around over and over. This is unfortunate. Let's let's use the polite term. It's unfortunate we're going to take four damage here. Um, which means we can stack up that poison over and over. Now, we can't rely on it showing up often enough to stay high, but... 
I still truly believe that we have given ourselves probably the best tool we could have given ourselves there. I don't know, are you doing a big attack next turn? We know we got Bouncing Flask next turn. Let's play a defend. It, it's probably a decision that doesn't matter too much, but... There you go. I, I feel fine about that. Honestly, I'm just gonna... You know what? No. I'm not gonna take damage. There's just no point, you know, if we're not gonna do damage to him. Alright, so he's gonna have a big attack. There's no way we're gonna die. What are you gonna do? Kill me? Famous last words. Basically, we can't lose at this point. They're making us work for it, but one attack kills them. Bouncing Flask even better? Sure. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's not even better. Alright. So, Bouncing Flask is just for bosses. Might not find the time to play it on enemies. Um, or on regular room fights. Dude, I don't know. What do you want me to say? I don't know if any of these really fit. Uh, I'm gonna hit you up with that doppelganger. And I really, genuinely think Velvet Choker is our way out of this. We have to be very careful. There are turns, even now. This is an okay path right here. There are turns even now where we'd like to play six cards, but it's not a shiv deck. <laughs> you know, what can I say? It's good comedic timing. I mean, we played three cards. There you go. Two shivs added to the deck. One, two... Shivs that lay before you, and that's what I said now. This is necessary. Honestly, taking off six damage is probably the way to go. Does it suck? Oh, oh yeah. Real bad. Just horrible. These birds are a nightmare now. We definitely do not have four attacks, but we can put up enough block. You're dead. Okay. I think you're next to go. By the way, we actually... Can we get a round of applause for my bare minimum competency play? We actually used Doppelganger properly. I still hate it, just for the record, but it's amazing how much it changes the fight. To go from, you know, you only need to hit him three times to you need to hit him four. Thank God we got four energy. That's all I'll say about that. No, 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 no. So what do we not want now? Well, dodge and roll is actually amazing. I know that doesn't answer your question. What we don't want are cards that make more cards, unless those cards are great to begin with. Um, and you know we're cutting, cutting the basic strike, I think, still. So no Cloak and Dagger, no Blade Dance. No thank you. I'm just, just mixing it up. You know what? Sure. Give me the backstab for more damage. Um, and we're going hard on the smith here, in case that's not super clear. Uh, right now our win condition is all bonkers, and I have no idea if it's actually going to work. But it basically relies on just applying as much weakness as conceivable. I don't even know if we have the block ability to make this functional, to begin with. Uh, but... We're trying. Okay. We can keep it going, I think. We'll play two cards. Dude, give me a doppel right here. I'm ready for it. I just want more bouncing flash to whip around. Oh. Oh, baby. We got it. Um, 
We have nine energy? What do I want next? It really does not matter. So, like, he's dead in two turns, no matter what. So, we applied weakness, and there you go. Fair enough. It's actually a really good fight. In my opinion. Sorry, I'm responding to a text message. Um, you're dead regardless. This is a floor where we're going to be leaving it all on the on the line and seeing what sticks. I think Bane is probably the best kind of attack we could ask for. Really wanted weakness on this turn. Yeah, I mean, give me energy next turn. Absolutely. We are taking six damage. Can't do that for very long. You're really just not going to give me weakness? Like... We're alive. Pretty much forcing the rest, though. We have so many weakness generating cards in the deck. I think it is fair to suggest I'm mad. Didn't matter what we played. We need to hit him for one. Doable? Yeah, we can make that happen. How on earth are we going to do this? Hey, try playing a potion at some point. Get out of here. Runic Dodecahedron is a slap in the face. It calls to me even now in its mocking tone. Runic, Runic. Nice. I think that's a great start. Yeah, we can make something happen there. Do we need to? No. Good point. One damage. Nothing to cry about. Get rid of a basic strike. He's doing 10 damage. I still think we play both of those. We only get to play one more card. One damage. Nothing to cry about, but we're starting to get some tears going in the old tear ducts for our chances of victory here. Nine damage. Still think he has to stay weak. That was a decent turn. Stop with the frailty, please. The turns play themselves. Usually that's a pretty good sign. I hate to say it, this is a deck that needs like 5 energy. What about 20? Can we just get 20 energy? I beg you, this is the turn where we need attacks. He's so close. Just get just push me over the edge. We've actually done it. We got him. Not like we get anything out of the extra energy anyway. Nine damage. Okay, we can get over that. That's no problem. We need to hit him for 16. All for the privilege of being able to continue on this run. You know, I mean, I think you... At this point, you have to smith. My idea there is very simple. If we're gonna die, just kill me. I think a backflip was a totally acceptable pickup. That's not a tilt. That's just, like, a good pickup. So we really want uh, to purge these artifacts. No bouncing flask. I'm not too mad. The word you're looking for is furious. 
Didn't do anything to the Guardian, but that's okay. Still a good start here. Really need that poison to start going. Uh, honestly, taking two damage, it's not that bad. Frailty lasts forever, though. Oh, still draw, just a, I don't know, didn't matter. He's dead at the end of this turn, regardless. We've lived. We're going to be able to die to the second boss with some dignity. Why not? You never know. With this low of HP, that could save you. If we make it through the boss fight... Please draw. Bouncing Flask. <laughs> you know what? Get rid of Die, Die, Die. Not that it matters, but we don't want to play that turn one. Might as well pop the Strength Potion early. I know we're a little late on that. We get to play two more cards. That's how you do that. Give me four block next turn. Not a not a lot, really, but perhaps enough. Not that big of a loss. Oh, that's you can hold that as long as you'd like. Thank God. Okay. Um I hope our other distraction has a corpse explosion in it. It's weird, but sure. Honestly, start hitting. This one is is rough. We're not making much progress. Uh well, at all. We're definitely not making much progress when it comes to killing the boss, and he's getting mighty strong. Need to draw, and, uh, I mean... Don't at me. This is obviously horrendous. Um, 37 damage. We have to block. We are dead. No matter what. Well, maybe it's for the best. Good night, sweet prince. We really tried, but we ran into a wall today. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. I'm so great. The old course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash no one line. Be notified when I go live in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.